Hey guys, um, this is Leila Kalan and our mnemonic for today would be give people proper reasons to trust. Now I want you to put a square on the two because the same enzyme will be used twice. And this mnemonic is not for the path though because you, you might get confused with the substrates and the products because it splits in the middle. So I've written this mnemonic for the enzymes and two is used twice. So now let's start. Let me tell you a bit about PPP, the pentose phosphate pathway. So it's one of the major pathways for catabolizing glucose in humans and it occurs in the cytoplasm. So it is a cytoplasmic way of oxi oxidative degradation, okay? Um, and this process releases or produces two very important, important products. Now one of them I'm going to explain as I do the pathway for you, but the other one is NADDPH2. Now this is an important one because it has quite a lot of functions. So basically, it has a protective role against oxygen toxicity, like superoxides. It's got reductive synthesis that plays a role in that. So it's necessary for the production of fatty acids, for steroids, for cholesterol, etc. Okay. And in this process, ATP is not generated, but rather used. And it's regulated by substrate availability and NADP to NADPH2 ratio. So this process is active in the liver, the adipose tissue, the adrenal cortex, the testes, the RBCs, etc. Et so now these organs that I mentioned, do you see anything com common? Like, do they look similar? Do they like, do they have anything in common? Yes, they do. They are fat containing or lipid containing organs like the lipids, the adrenal cortex, the testes, because this PPP, pathway is active during lipogenesis, so the production of lipids, all right? So this would was a general small little bit about the PPP. Now we can start. So the PPP has got two um, stages. So the first stage is the oxidative stage or oxidative stage, and it is irreversible. And the second stage is a non-oxidative stage or the reversible stage, and I'll do that later in a bit. So first we're going to start with our substrate and products, and then we move on to our black pen for the enzymes. So we've got, we start with glucose, 6, phosphate. That gives us 6, phospho, gluco, lactone, sorry, glucono, lactone. That one then gives us 6 phosphogluconate, which gives us rubulose 5 phosphate. Okay, now we move to our enzymes. So, um, glucose 6 phosphate will be glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase. Now, in the absence of this enzyme, one can develop hemolytic anemia, okay, the lack of this enzyme. Then we move from phosphogluconolactone to 6-phosphogluconate, and that would be 6-phospho, the name of this substrate and the product, gluconate, lactonase. So you break the lactone to gluconate, then from gluconate to rubulose, you've got 6 phospho gluconate dehydrogenase. And that is our oxidative stage. Then we go on to our next one non oxidative. Or reversible and here you have interconversion of different sugar phosphates okay so we start with this one so 
So this one comes here and then with the help of an enzyme, we move on to xylulose 5-phosphate and we leave this alone. Now we switch. So here we've got again rugulose 5, 5P and here it gives us ribose. 5p which is important i have to remember i told you there's another compound so this one's important because it helps in nucleotide synthesis so atp dna all of that nucleotide synthesis okay so it goes down to give me sedo heptulose with 7 10 phosphate a plus a glycerol dehyde Uh, three, sorry, three phosphate. Then this one goes down to give me fructose, six phosphate plus eryphose, four phosphate. Now this one goes down, and we get back to this one little here, one here, and it gives us fructose, six phosphate. And this can move on to become glucose 6-phosphate, which can give us glucose like the gluconeogenesis pathway. And this is aldehyde 3-phosphate. Okay, now we can move on to our enzymes again. So here we have pentose, epimerase, for both 5s. Then we move on here, rubulose. So this one would be rubulose 5 isomerase 5p isomerase then we go down to give trans ketolase now remember i told you two would be squared because trans ketolase is here and the last one trans ketolase again and just in between both we have another t trans aldolase so if you follow the enzymes, you'll see that the mnemonic matches with them. And if we've got similar names, we've only got one P for those. So I'll go through them with you. So we've got glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, that's give. We have 6 phosphate gluconate lactonase and dehydrogenase, that's people. Pentose epimerase proper. Ribulose 5-phosphate isomerase reasons. Transketolase 2 squared. And trust would be trans alda Lace. So this is our um, PPP, pentose phosphate pathway, and here I'm going to write nucleotide synthesis. Oxidative, non-oxidative, re irreversible, reversible, interconversion of sugar, different sugar phosphates, and yeah, remember ATP is not generated and it's active during lipogenesis in the organs that I've mentioned earlier. So that's it for this topic. I just realized you didn't have enough. Uh, <laughs> I blocked some of the words. So if you can see it properly now, if you couldn't follow my words, you can see it properly now. And yeah, so bye guys.